All right, welcome everyone to the next, the newest episode of uh, Lightroom Wizards. Um, today, I'm going to focus on something that is kind of very important to me with editing, um, and that is editing client work. Um, I shoot a lot, I do a lot for clients, and because of that, I've learned to become a very, I think, fast and efficient editor. Now, of course, there's always times when you have to spend a long time on an image. Just certain things are... I mean, it might be a conceptual thing or you just find details, but I would say the bulk of my images, I feel like I can edit within 30 to 60 seconds. And I'm going to show you an example of that today, and perhaps this will be a new series that I do going forward, something called 60 Second Edits. How can you make your picture look way better in a short amount of time as possible? So what I'm going to do here, a little different than most of these episodes, I'm going to start doing the edit first, and then I'll go back and explain what I did. But I want to just show you guys how fast you can do things um, once you're familiar with the tools in Lightroom. So in a couple seconds here, I'm going to start, and let's just see how we can improve this image. Okay. And done. Okay, so that might have been around 60 seconds, maybe a little bit longer, but let me just do a before and after here in the shot just so we can kind of see what the changes have made. So if I go from there, now the things that jump out to me is I kind of want more attention on the baby. Um, skin's a little bit reddish as most newborns are. Um, not quite, quite as uh, color toned as I'd like. So if I kind of switch to my end version here, I mean, just very quickly there, we kind of uh, took it from, I think, a decent image to something stronger. Um, and I mean, if I was going to just totally nitpick this, I mean, I might kind of get rid of that redness right there just a tiny bit more, a little blotch here. Um, probably could have done that in a few more seconds. But do you see how quickly some of these changes can be made? You don't have to spend tons of time in post. And just to quickly kind of go through what did I do here, well, it brought up the shadows just a little bit, kind of in the sense of kind of bringing out detail here. Um, I flattened my image ever so slightly, or kind of just made, gave it more of the matte look. And you do that by just pulling this out. And it's just a matter of personal preference. It makes your blacks not quite as black. Um, usually for a lot of my uh, people work, take down the vibrance just a little bit. Uh, for newborns especially, I find that skin tones tend to be very orange and red, or red blotchiness and just orange, so I kind of took down the saturation of each. And looking at that now, I'd probably tone that up just a little bit. Uh, luminance affects the brightness of an individual color, so kind of bring that up a bit and make the baby pop. And same with the reds, just so I don't have that splotchiness as evident. And I cleaned up a few little dust spots of white fluff that was on the floor. And just a very slight vignette to help bring your attention in towards the center. So again, before, after, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.